A growing number of kids are lighting fires across WA, which is alarming authorities. While there's been little research into child arsonists, experts say there are warnings every parent should be looking for. While some parents may see it as just a natural curiosity, experts say any kid playing with matches could be a sign of something more sinister to come. What we know about adult arson is that it does start early in childhood, so they have a chronic history of fire setting. Usually that hasn't been either detected or sanctioned in an appropriate way. Dr Rebecca Dolly has been helping authorities get into the mind of arsonists for more than 20 years. She says the number of juveniles caught lighting fires in WA is unprecedented. Well, part of that is also due to an actual increase in the number of juveniles lighting fires, and that's very concerning. So far this summer, more than 700 bushfires are believed to have been deliberately lit. It's estimated between 20 and 30 per cent of them are started by kids, mostly aged between 15 and 17. Majority of them are boys, using cigarette lighters and matches. They tend to have a number of troubles at home. They may not academically be achieving, either at school or in higher education. And for them, lighting fires is a way to get attention or express their anger over their family issues. It comes from an element of power. They want to experience a sense of, of control over their world. A lack of supervision is also a problem. There's a spike in deliberately lit fires after school hours. There are also higher rates of fire lighting among kids from single parent homes. But when it comes to treating juvenile arsonists, there are few programs available. We need something that when juveniles are detected for fire setting, that there actually is a referral pathway into a treatment program that is suitable for adolescents. There is an education program run by the Department of Fire and Emergency Services that is having success in WA. It involves a child's family and focuses on teaching the potentially devastating consequences of lighting fires. Josh Yerger, Nine News.